So today's Geek Dad Life, we're gonna go check out another arcade, this time one that's very local to me in Durham, North Carolina called Quarter Horse. Uh, and uh, it's a smaller arcade, uh, but they got a lot of great pinball games and some of my favorite arcade games. So uh, let's hop on in and uh, see what they got. So Quarter Horse is in the heart of downtown Durham, North Carolina, and it is one of the smallest barcades I've ever been to. But what it lacks in size, it makes up for in awesome games. And uh, when you talk to the managers, the people that run this place, uh, they are really passionate about pinball and classic arcade games, and they have a pretty good collection here. They got the classics like Donkey Kong, Miss Pac-Man, Frogger, as well as some good shoot 'em up games, a cockpit pole position, and a really good collection of pinball games like Walking Dead, Aerosmith, and even uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, Star Trek's been down a while. It's another really good one. Adam's Family, you know, one of my favorites and also one of the best of all time. Uh, Revenge from Mars, another really popular uh, and, uh, you know, fun game to play. And they have some deep cuts here, like Smash TV. I know Smash TV is really popular uh, in the arcade community. I didn't play that one as a kid. Let me know in the comments if you are big Smash TV fans. A Play Choice 10 for the NES fans out there. Um, Off-Road, NBA Jam. I mean, essential components to any arcade. Mortal Kombat. No Street Fighter, though. Uh, actually, that's surprising. Uh, Gauntlet 2. Um, Spy Hunter. Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, Tapper, another one of my favorite games, a hard game to find, especially the Budweiser version. And then Tempest, one of my favorite games, and again, a really hard one to have running, keep running uh, in an arcade. I right, start to drop some quarters. Uh, first up here, I always got to play Adam's Family. Uh, you know, it's cliche to be one of your favorite pinballs, but uh, it's one of the best and one of the most fun to play, especially if you're an Adam's Family movie fan. Uh, I'm not a great pinball player, but I always try to go for multi-ball as quickly as possible, and Adam's Family has one of the best uh, multi-balls in pinball. I just got, so let's take a moment to enjoy the Adam's Family multi-ball sequence. So there is Adam's Family pinball, one of the greats by the great Pat Lawler. I hope to own one one day. It's really expensive, so it'll be a long time coming, but one day. The second pinball I wanted to play was Revenge from Mars, a late 90s pinball that features a CRT monitor that kind of has reflects on the uh, glass of the pinball machine, and it kind of gives it this uh, 3D feel and expands the gameplay in a neat way. Oh man, so I just got my best score ever in Tempest and I forgot to hit record on the camera so my amazing gameplay was missed. And I know the rule. Always record. Always record. <sighs> you look like it was on. Eh, let's try and play it again here. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Tempest. Uh, it's a, a great game. It's a vector-based graphic game that uh, I believe was one of the first ones to have a fully color. Uh, vector graphics and it just has this really neat effect when you're playing it where it just feels you're kind of like tunneling in and zooming into it and I believe the game was based off the designers a nightmare he had with these creatures that were crawling up uh, from under the earth it was a really popular game when it came out so there's a lot of them but the reason you don't see working ones that often in arcades is the uh, that Tempest logo that pops up in the beginning like burns out the uh, board and you know you can have it running for a while but eventually it's gonna stop working so um, it's nice that quarter horse is able to keep this one running because I do really enjoy playing the game uh, even if this game I didn't do as well as the time when I wasn't recording tapper the Budweiser version of the game I never played this in arcades but I remember we had a Commodore 64 version of the game at my elementary school and that was, you know, not the Budweiser version, but the root beer version. And uh, it was it was fun to play there. And playing the real, you know, full-size arcade game is a lot of fun. You have these beer taps that you pull. And while the first level is pretty easy to beat, it gets really hard really fast, at least for uh, from my perspective. Uh, and it gets really stressful. So I think it does a good job of, uh, you know, giving the player a sense of uh, how stressful it can be to uh, wait on people especially angry uh, Budweiser drinkers. Nintendo's Play Choice 10, the uh, two monitor version. Uh, if you've never seen a Play Choice 10 before, uh, it's, it's great for those NES fans and it basically uh, brings in a lot of classic <laughs> NES games, uh, but brings them into the arcade format. And uh, Duck Hunt 
is always a blast to play. So how often as a kid did you want to shoot the dog when he was laughing at you? I mean, come on, man. We're doing our best here. <laughs> but Duck Hunt, always fun to play, especially because you need a CRT monitor to do it. And a double monitor Play Choice 10 is always a great addition to an arcade. George Costanza's favorite Frogger by Sega slash Gremlin. A mainstay, you know, a top five uh, classic arcade game of all time. And it's still a lot of fun to play, really simple. Uh, but again, I think what I really enjoy about the retro and classic arcade games is kind of the pattern recognition, uh, the hand-eye coordination, uh, and just the kind of, if, the more you work at it, the better you get, but it's, it's always uh, going to be making you work harder to get better at it. All right, the last game we'll feature on our arcade tour of Quarter Horse is Ice Cold Beer, an arcade game without a video monitor, but it actually uses uh, a, a marble that you're trying to get into these different uh, holes, and it becomes more challenging as it goes along. A really fun game that you don't see that often in more typical barcades. So again, kudos to Quarter Horse for having a working version of Ice Cold Beer, even if I'm not all that great at it. Bad. That'll do it for our tour of the Quarter Horse Arcade in downtown Durham. I'll put a link to their website in the description. Uh, thanks to the management team there for letting me hang out and play some arcade games. It is a place for the uh, nostalgia nerd to come hang out, uh, have some adult beverages, play some awesome video games with friends. So Quarter Horse gets the Geek Dad Life stamp of approval. All right, that'll do it for this episode of Geek Dad Life. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, subscribe, and the bell icon to be notified with new episodes of Geek Dad Life drop. We do videos about arcade games, toys, all things nerdy. So definitely subscribe and uh, be notified when the latest episodes drop. The first video ever did feature an arcade called Game Galaxy outside Nashville, Tennessee. Check that out. As well as our arcade one-up reviews of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Atari Star Wars game. We'll have another video later this week. And until then, hasta luego and goodbye.